Hello everyone, I'm here in the suit that hat that Charlotte's been working on here. So Charlotte, can you tell us a bit about this suit? Ah uh, yeah, sure Katie. So this is the board suit designed by Paul Bakken that we use as a baseline for the next generation of analog smart suits that we're developing. So basically implementing augmented reality, um, implementing the Astro Casco system from the NS Aerospace and like pressurized suit and like all those kind of aspects. So there's a lot of technology that's going into this, but Charlotte's also been working on some really cool stuff to do with the helmet, which is over there. Do you want to grab the helmet? Yeah, sure. Well, this is just the demo bit of the helmet, but anyway. Um, so this is the fishbowl that I had on my head. Ta da <laughs> um, But Charlotte's got some awesome ideas for how an astronaut helmet can be developed. So can you tell us a bit about what do you think should go or could go into an astronaut helmet? Yeah, so the current astronaut helmets that are actually, of course this is not an actual spacesuit, but the current uh, helmets, they lack a lot of the capabilities that we want to actually implement when we go back to the moon or to Mars. And they need different features, such as a head-in display, or for example clear communications, or that you actually maybe can eat something like proper. I don't know. Yeah, or for example that if something happens, if something comes into your eyes, that you actually can wipe it away and you don't have such as some of the astronauts experience, mm. almost go blind. Oh yeah! Wasn't that Chris Hassan as well? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'm going to try this Yeah, quite a few of them have really gone blind. But the use of AR in this helmet would be amazing. So can you say some of the uses that AR would have in so, an astronaut helmet? For my master thesis, I was working with the NASA Suit Scout Team from Texas A&M, and they basically developed with Scout uh, navigation, waypoint, whiteboard, and different other features that you can use with augmented reality. So for example, if you want to go from point X to mm. point Y, you can actually have a Google Maps <gasps> navigation of where you need to go. That would be so cool. If you're a geologist or an astronaut geologist and you find a rock that is just absolutely fascinating, you can place a waypoint, come yeah. back tomorrow, and actually have the Google Maps navigation to that same rock that you like. That would be so good. And if you imagine with the whiteboard, if Mission Control, like as Charlotte was saying this to me before, if they wanted to draw something, it's much easier to communicate through images. So if Mission Control were to draw something, they could see it on the visors rather than just using vocal. Yeah. So I think that's really cool. Exactly. So for example, if we see a solar panel or something that's broken, and we can actually see live with the astronaut which part is broken, and we can actually give guidance and draw an arrow like where they need to go, what they need to repair, or for example, say like, go that way or go that way. So cool, so cool. So yeah, so Charlotte's been working on this. I've just been a guinea pig testing out some stuff on the prototype. Um, but yeah, so we will update you as more things happen during the mission. See you, bye. <laughs>